Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to go over how to um, add more of the simulation documents to your mod. Um, although that sounds a bit general, um, that's because we just need to wrap up the stats for our unit and give them a, the base stats and then to add a bit more time to this video because um, it will only take like a couple of minutes just to show you that last part. I'm going to also show you how to add the model to your character as well and actually get it so that way you can play him. So the first thing we're going to need is that we're going to need the unit type and so this th what the unit type is is that it is the document that gives your units the base stats that they have. Um, so, right here, as you can see, this is a bit, uh, this is, um, we, right here, as you can see, we have our unit type, we have the name right here, and we are going to change this name to Silix Norm Normal. And, as you can see, we have our base we have our base attribute like attack we have all of our base attributes right here and we have our values and our operation and now what is interesting and I'm I'm speculating this I haven't tested this out myself but this is just a speculation is that since this is target property that means that you can take these base attributes and these all these base things and apply it to your traits and it will affect your your units in the, your empire or city or whatever you're calling it to um, because it is a target property and vice versa you can take like a district duster or something like that and apply it to your unit and it will read off as district dust now it might not necessarily apply the district dust because we know because we've seen before how the tooltip effects um, just because of the tooltips read off something that doesn't necessarily mean it works um, so this is just like a speculation. So if you so if you want to play around with your units at all and like maybe give them very interesting attributes, um, this would be this is another way of how you can kind of go about it. But um, yeah, this is how you add the attributes and all the and the stats to your unit. And I think that, that all these are pretty obvious. Attack is attack. Defense is defense. Initiative is how with initiative. Damage is damage, and then max health is the health that you that your unit has at start. Um, and so, you, and so yeah, and so when you play these, you might notice that the that these stats are off. That's because your your unit typically starts out with items, and so these items will uh, infl uh, will affect the different starting stats your unit will have and so will what type it is. For example, an infantry unit will have I think a higher attack and damage or something like that whereas a cavalry unit will have a higher, well like, in, will have a boost to its initiative. Um, so yeah, so we're now going, so that's how you add in your uh, stats and right now we're going to go into giving your character a 3D model and allowing you to actually play as a character. So I'm going to go back into my Kazanji faction and we are going to and I'm going to copy the unit design right here. And basically what the unit d design is is that it's more it, it's similar to the GUI factions where it's a bridge between the simulation and another component, but instead of the other component being a more artsy type of um well, this is also R2 because it is uh, dealing with mo models, but instead of it connecting to the title and description and an image, this is connecting it to a model. Um, and so you can kind of tell what this is going, what this function right here is doing because you have the unit design name right here, which we are going to call this. Uh, actually, I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to save this. I'm actually going to close off all these. I had these open because I wanted to just double check and make sure that what I was saying or what I'm saying now is correct. Um, oh, I guess my copy didn't work. Um, I'm going to actually I'm going to open up my unit body definition just to make sure I get the correct 
name right here. Um, so we have Silix Normal. I'm just going to paste that right there just to make sure I don't have any accidental spelling mistakes. And then we're just going to paste that right here. And so what you can see is that we have our unit design name, some model right here. And then we also have our unit body definition reference. And this is just saying that, okay, we're going to we're going to call our unit body definition, which right now we're going to have this call our silix normal unit body. And then we're going to take this unit body silix and we're going to apply and we're going to create a new um, a new variable called unit design silix normal number one and we're going to apply the model uh, 1040 100 and this model isn't the silix model this model is actually the uh, Kazanji uh, model so if you want to find the silix model or any model you go well typically for most units they will be in the unit design but for other units such as the colossus ones and the minor factions they'll have their own document and so if we go into the unit design silix we can see right here the silix model and now you're also noticing looking down that there's other models as well and if you notice what these are saying the um these are saying that these are the Rome, these are the Roman armies. These are the village armies and the Roman armies that are created from here. And so, I mean, you may, may want those, you may not want those. Um, I'm going to just stick with this one because this is the default. Uh, this is the default unit that the player unlocks. And so, I don't want to cause any like accidental problems. Like maybe this model is embedded with some sort of code that only allows uh, fa minor faction traits to play this. Um, so I don't want to really cause any like accidental problems. So I'm just going to play it safe for now and just copy this model right here. Um, so right now we're going to go into our unit design and we are going to paste this model right here. And so what this should do now is that wh when we call in our um, when we call in our silic uh, character, it will spawn in with this model. And if you, and if you don't have this model, it is still fine. Because if you don't have the model, your unit will still spawn in, but it will spawn in with like this sort of like whitish, weird um, unit design that isn't really pleasant that you don't want to have. Um, like if you want to get an idea of what the design looks like, uh, you can either play around with yourself or essentially just imagine a uh, Mario 64 corrupted mod. Uh, one like how Mario's always stretched out. It, it's something like that, except it's all white and it's just it's not that good. Anyways, so that's how the unit design um, works. So what we're going to do right now is that we're actually now going to call in our unit when we start the game. So we're going to go to our SF faction right here, and we are going to instead and so we're in, instead of calling our unit design. Oh, I already added this in, but instead of calling the uh, Broken Lords Infantry number one, we're instead going to call our unit design Silix normal one because we want to call in our unit design right here so that we get the model as well because we're essentially getting the unit body uh, Silix, but with it, the with but with this model as well. So we're gonna want so we're gonna want to call in. Uh, where was that? right here so we're gonna wanna call in the unit design instead of a unit body instead so uh, keep that in mind and the other thing to keep in mind as well is that when you're playing around with this the first thing is that you need to make sure that you have a number with it I'm not entirely sure why the number necessarily matters um, but if you notice a lot in all of these um, major faction things there's always a number associated at the end of the unit design name and I'm not entirely sure what that has to deal with but um, it, it might be something with the C sharp code and the unity that this game is running off of um, I'm not entirely sure about that but just keep that in mind um, that's all I'm just trying to say just keep that in mind I'm just not sure like what it does if you have or don't have it really um, but if you don't have it in here, I do know that if you mess around in this argument area, it will cause problems because for me, when I was messing around with like my Silix faction, not Silix, the uh, Kazanji faction, uh, when I was making the actual mod itself, I had a problem where 
Um, like I had everything here was like spelled perfectly, all that stuff. Except there was a space right here, and it kept crashing anytime I started up the game. Well, not crashing, but there was a really weird bug. And basically, I after playing this, playing around with this a lot, I figured out that the bug was that I had a space. So just keep in mind that make sure you don't have any spaces. Make sure that like it's all exactly how the Broken Lords or one of these other. Uh, major faction, uh, a fi major uh, faction traits affinity would would go, uh, just so that we don't cause have like uh, uh, run into any problems. And if you want, you can add in as many as you want. Like I can add in like a whole nother uh, unit design silix um, normal. Well, actually, that's probably not ideal since this is a uh, actually. Well, yeah, I, I can because like I could just um, because I forgot that there's a hero right there. And it's not an actual unit, so I can just add in another one right there, and then we'll start out, when we start out our mod, we will start out with uh, three of our unit, uh, three of our Silix uh, creations. So for right now, I'm now going to uh, play the mod, and we're now just going to play test it. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of like the end of the video now. Um, the rest of this is just going to be a little bit of a play test. And this was just a bit of a short mod. Um, in my next mod, I will probably go over how to how to add it as like a trait, and uh, well, not not as a trait necessarily, but more as a um, as a technology. So when you when we have our blue silic, we are going to when we have our blue silic, we can actually go in and research something to then get our blue silic. Oh, and speaking of um, blue silic, I just want to mention this because I don't know if I mentioned this already. But for for the rest of the um, mod, I'm going to only just stick with the blue silic and the normal silic. And the two main reasons is because once you already know how to do the normal silic, the rest is pretty simple because a lot of this is just copying and pasting. Um, as you probably know by now, and so once you know how to do one of them, you can pro you can do the rest. So all these other things aren't really needed in the actual tutorial themselves. I just added them in because I was thinking of making this a uh, very high end um, mod itself. But um, I'm now just focusing on making this just a good tutorial and a more like fast tutorial because I didn't realize that a lot of these videos would go up to the 30 minute mark. And well, sometimes 40 minute mark, uh, 50, 45 minute mark. I don't, and, and they're a bit too long. Um, so, in order to get this all uh, fast, I'm going to just stick with the normal one and the blue one. So that way you can see like a comparison between like just a copy of a silic and one that we actually change. So, I'm going to start our game and we're going to start out as I'm going to just delete that. We're going to start out as our uh, faction trait, and um, I will get into like this uh, later um, of why that is there. But anyways, we're just going to start our game now. Um, well, I probably should have gone into that spiel a little bit uh, while, the, while I was waiting for this. But anyways. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick with the normal with the normal silk and the uh, blue one for now. And in the next video, um, I'm gonna just show you while I'm waiting. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this. Um, the one last thing that we have to deal with in simulation is the technology. Um, so when you want to research a unit, you that you need to have the simulation descriptor technology there. And um, there's a, and if you want to like have it be a trait where like you have like your unit inside your, because like right now we can't create our unit. We need a technology in order to create our unit, and we need like a actual uh, a constructible in order to actually create our unit. Um, but right now we're just starting out with our unit. We're not actually going to be able to create it. So I'm gonna go into how to actually create it, like doing the technology and the two constructible errors right here. Well. Just really one of them because we only, we're only going to have our blue one coming in the first constructible error. But if you want to have, if you want to put like another one in a second constructible error, you're just going to need to go into the uh, into the uh, error two technology constructibles. Um, but yeah, and basically 
right here you can see all of the different mods we have or we can see that we have basically every everything from the Kazanji faction we already pro we already have in our silics besides the two three that I mentioned but these two these two right here these deal this one deals with uh, well this one I added in because I was trying to deal with the constructibles and trying to change like the design of the city um, but if we open this one up you can see that like there's not really anything much about it um, you don't need to have that one there I, I'm just gonna show you guys this so so that way you know what each one of these does uh, the battle action capacity this deals with like the abilities and like what you can do like in the battle itself I'm not gonna get into like a video on this at all because this is very complex and I'm still learning how the battle actions work because there's not there's almost no mods that deal with battle actions and all this other stuff um, well at least from steam there's no mods um, the other thing and then we have our uh, two unit abilities our two unit abilities right here and basically what these deal with is that I was trying to uh, originally make a unit ability I was able uh, I was able to successfully make one um, but to keep this mod brief I'm not gonna delve into making a unit ability I'm just gonna show how to actually um, just get straight to the units themselves um, but yeah so now we're in the game and we can already see that we have our uh, silix design so for right now I'm going to just spawn right here just to speed things up and our hero is a bit in the way so what we're going to do is that we're going to just move our hero to the right and we can see that we have our oh well this is the design I was talking about so our model is a bit off um, we don't really it seems like our model didn't actually go through and I think I remember why there's um well, all right, since we're only at 17 minutes, I'll go get into this real quick. Um, but if we go into here, if we go into mapping, uh, I think it's called remapping, yeah. We can, uh, this is how you actually um, change the design of it. I, I forgot about that. Um, I get, I, actually, I'm not, I, I forgot about this, but I'm not entirely sure what the model number necessarily does. I think it's more of like, for some uh, in-game code or something like that, but um, yeah, I'm actually not entirely sure. I thought that that actually uh, changed this. Okay, so I was wrong about that. What I said earlier, the model thing that you see. Well, I'm just gonna move this right here. But the model thing that you see here apparently doesn't direct. It, this in itself does not create your, the own model. Um, it's the remapping right here that does it. Um, and I guess since I have time right now. Um, well, I just want to say that real quick that, like, this is the, uh, mod we have, and so we can, uh, if I was just to hover over this, we can see that we have our, uh, different traits, um, right here. But I'm now going to just close the game, and we're going to, and I'm going to just show you what the remapping does, since we're still going to be on the unit design. So, if we go into our Kazanji faction... We have a new fo folder called Mapping. And Mapping deals with the 3D unit design. Um, I, j I just forgot about this until now. And th when I saw that like the thing just didn't work. And then I realized, oh wait, there's a whole mapping thing. But anyways, so in the mapping, you uh, you could call this remapping. You, you don't have to call this. You could call this literally whatever you want. And the other... Another thing is just that I don't want to get too much into um, too strand too far away. You can call these whatever you want, but the main thing is that whatever you call them, you have to make sure you reference this inside the Silix faction right here. So, um, remapping isn't necessarily like a term. Like, there's no real specific term remapping. Like other mod makers, whenever they do a 3D object, they might not call it remapping. They might call it like mapping or something else. But you can, but I just call this, and well, me and the uh, guy that made the uh, Golems faction call this remapping, um, and so we just called it in right here. So if you want to change this to mapping, you just take out the re right here and just call it mapping. But I'm just gonna leave this as uh, remapping for now. So um, going back into the uh, mapping right here, we're now going to open up our remapping, and we're going to. Um, well, first thing we're going to do is that we're going to get rid of this, and we are going to 
uh, take a look at what this does. So this is oh, and you also gotta make sure that like you have your name right here for uh, as like the definition to show like uh, where it actually is, so that way the code can read it. So what this is saying is that it's gonna look in the path prefabs, like inside the Endless Legend game itself. It's gonna look inside prefabs, which um, if you guys have taken any type of Unity class, a prefab is basically an object that you assign uh, values to that you can um, add to multiple times. Um, maybe in my like my last video, I'll show you about Unity because I'm currently taking like a Unity video called um, the Ultimate U uh, U uh, Unity class which I'll leave a link uh, when I do my Unity video if I ever get to it. Um, but it's a really good class. I recommend if you guys want to learn Unity, you make this. But inside Unity, um, they inside the prefabs, they look for the armies folder. And then inside here, they're going to look for the... Um, they're they're going to stick this... They're going to look inside for the uh, unit body Kazanji soldier. And so although like this isn't necessarily inside that prefab... Um, we have, they're going to just like sort of look, generally this is just looking for um, our unit body right here. And we're going to just call our unit body Silix Normal. Because that's what our unit body is called. And right here, what they're looking for is that they're going to, is that they're saying, okay, we're going to look in this path, but if we don't see a unit body Silix Normal right here, instead what we're going to do is that we're going to look in this path and we're going to look for uh, prefabs, army, uh, unit body, Kazanji Devil, and we're going to apply it to this unit body, so it looks normal. Um, I'm 99% sure that that's how that, that that's how that works. Um, and I'm only saying 99 only because I'm, I haven't actually, I can't look into the direct code and see how the direct code works, but I'm sh pretty sure that that's how that works. Um, because I've, like, dealt with, like, Unity a little bit, um, before. And so, right now, the uh, so right now, uh, what the main but the main two things that you'd need to do is that you're going to need to call call in your unit body, and then you're going to need to call in the actual uh, unit design that you want. So I want the um, I don't want the uh, I don't want the Kazanji Devil design. I want the uh, the Silix design. But it's not going to be called Silix. It's going to be called something like the unit body Silix Golem right here. And when we go into our remapping, we will have our unit body Silix Golem right there. And one last thing I need to check. We have a unit body. Oh yeah, we have a unit body and then we also have right here our and our um unit by we also have our unit body um where was it oh yeah it's right here unit body right here okay so i just want to make sure that we have that there as well and so now if we start up the game we uh we should see that the silix themselves should have a unit design like they should have like our units should have a unit design to them but um yeah other than that um this is probably where I'm going to end off the video um because right now we're just going to play test this and most likely this will work. I'll probably make like a reference to this like for those who like ended off like earlier when I said that we're probably going to just end it off. Um, I'll leave a reference to uh, like just like make a comment that like hey check out the what happened right now. Um, but uh, yeah anyways. Um, yeah because I'm pretty sure that this is going to work now. Uh, so if you like this video and want to see more of this, uh, please leave a like and subscribe and please make a comment. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure how many people are watching these videos because I, I know that Endless Legend, like, the, they came out with their last, um, 
they came out with their last DLC a year ago from now. Um, well, it, yeah, almost a year, well, more than a year ago, I think, or almost a year ago. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, they came out with, like, yeah, they came out with their uh, mod, I think, exactly a year ago. Um, well, not mod, but they came out with their last game almost a year ago. And the mod community isn't too big in here. So I know that there's not going to be many people watching this, but even if, like, a couple of people are watching this, and that's still fine, but I'm not entirely sure if anyone is really watching this until I see, like, you know, a couple a couple of likes or just, like, some people commenting. Um, because this does take, like, quite a while to kind of make. Like, right now it only seems like 30 minutes, but you got to remember that... Um, that it's it takes 30 minutes for this one video but before I'd go and I'm I'm going to like do a video then realize that's not that good so I might make a different video and like just keep making videos until they're good so if you do like the, what I'm working on and are watching this please leave a like and a comment so that way um, I know how many people are watching this and that way later on when I'm done making because I'm going to complete this video anyways but um, if at the end there's like um, no one watching this then I'm probably just not going to f finish the uh, yellow sucks and all the other different things that I was planning on doing, and I'll just leave it as uh, just a video of how to make your own um, Endless Legend major faction. But anyways, um, so yeah, we can see that our mod is currently working, and we have our blue Silix guy right here. And I'm going to close that off, and I'm going to now end the video. So I hope you guys like this. Um, and I will see you in my next video when I talk about creating your own, uh, uh, building your own uh, Silux character.